With Marvel's Phase 4 already in motion, fans have been speculating whether or not we're gonna get yet another Avengers movie. And after a while, and a few details here and there, we're here to talk about the possible fifth installment of the Avengers movie, and in what possible way we might see it. Sit back and enjoy as we tell you everything we know so far, and take the first look into things. Will there be another Avengers movie? From what we've seen so far, with all the events of Phase 4 of Marvel Studios and the MCU itself, and how things are shaping up, plus the knowledge we have from the comic books, Avengers 5 seems like a guaranteed thing given the previous Avengers movies rank amongst the biggest movies of all time. However, what another Avengers movie means is up for debate. Fans were somewhat disappointed as a team-up movie was conspicuously absent from Marvel's Phase 4 announcement at the 2019's Comic-Con. Despite the wealth of scheduling changes and subsequent movies and shows being confirmed and released, to this date, there has been so little mention about a potential Avengers movie in the future of the MCU. Nevertheless, we're more than certain that a movie of sorts will happen, and no matter what shape the next Avengers movie takes, it's unlikely that it'll feature many of the OG Avengers given the events of Avengers Endgame. This doesn't mean that we can't expect to see a new team battling a new villain in another team-up movie. We're on the positive side of things when we're talking about the movie happening, especially given the reception to crossovers and team-ups in general. However, it may not be one for some time. Maybe even not during Phase 4, but eventually. And even though the movie has not yet been confirmed, from the movies and TV shows already in Phase 4 of the MCU, we got some clues that might hint at the inevitable Avengers 5 movie. And here we have some of the details we managed to discover, all leading to what we're all waiting for. Shang-Chi post credit Scene Clue If you want them. Shang Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings has proven to be a huge success for Marvel Studios even during the pandemic. Still going strong, even with more than a month since the release of the movie, the movie surpassed $175 million at the box office, nearing Black Widow domestic box office sales of $183 million. This also means that many fans have already seen the crazy Shang Chi post credit scene we're gonna talk about now, and divide some of the details we've noticed and what they could mean for the future of the MCU. One of the two scenes is relevant for the Avengers 5 plan, staring us in the face all along. The scene we're talking about is where Wong grabs Shang-Chi and Katie, taking them to the Spectrum 4 chat. Appearing via video conference are Bruce Banner and Captain Marvel. What stunned us is the leak from the scene showing Bruce Banner instead of the smart Hulk that we saw in Avengers Endgame, complete with a sling holding his arm. The other noteworthy detail was the Ten Rings sending out a beacon out in the universe and the Avengers had no idea what had just happened, with no one knowing what the Ten Rings are made of. But the real question remains, why was Bruce there? What happened to Professor Hulk? The Big Clue It's over. Fury has released everything to the public. We're all slaves to the post credit scenes from Marvel, making us overthink everything, with us trying to analyze every little clue bit by bit. However, we think that one of the biggest clues out there is still in the making, with every next movie or TV show from the MCU adding a little bit of information from the Avengers 5 movie. Right now, we have three Avengers in the scene who are recruiting two others, Simu Liu and Katie, welcome to the team following the events of Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. This goes to show that Avengers still exist, people know who Wong is after the events of Avengers Endgame, as we see in the post credit scene. Plus, the three are working on protecting the planet in the aftermath of the battle against Thanos, meaning that the initiative is still there in an official capacity. The only thing we don't know is whether they're working as standalone organizations or there's an oversight from the world's government. The most important message we have right now is that the Avengers are still a thing, making it clear that the MCU is slowly but surely gearing up for yet another Avengers movie. Release Date part of one universe. As we mentioned before, there's no confirmed release date for a new Avengers movie, and Marvel has enough on its plate as it stands, so we should not be getting one anytime soon, even if the movie is confirmed to be happening. On the official Marvel site, you can see all the movies, TV shows, and their release date for the future of the MCU. The fact that the Avengers 5 movie has not been solidly confirmed yet, and with filming still to be done on upcoming Marvel movies, all of which feature characters likely to appear in Avengers 5, makes us think that a 2023 release could be way too early for the next big team-up, with us making an educated guess of what's happening probably in 2024, maybe even 2025. 
This is if Marvel continues the trend for the next movie, just like they did with the previous four movies, and if Marvel Studios decide to go in a different direction for the movie, we might expect the movie a lot earlier than expected. Avengers Team No offense, but I don't play well with others. Big man in a suit of armor. Take that away, what are you? Uh, genius. The thing that makes the Avengers movies so great is the team in it and the large scale of danger they're facing. Thus, probably one of the most asked questions and one of the biggest desires for the fans is, which team we'll see in the fifth Avengers movie? The original team has been completely deconstructed, Iron Man and Black Widow dead, Captain America is an old man, and Thor has gone to space with the Guardians. However, the comics have shown that the Avengers lineup is fluid, with any MCU hero possibly being drafted at any point. We expect Brie Larson's Captain Marvel to take the lead in the team, assuming that Marvel can work out what to do with her other than sending her across the galaxy intermittently. Her taking on the role of the leader of the team would be so perfect choice for Marvel Studios, giving her a much larger role in the events to come, and we would love to see Captain Marvel get more screen time. Sam Wilson is no longer Falcon, having taken up the mantle of Captain America while Hawkeye and Hulk make up the remaining heroes of the original lineup. Other heroes who are still up and about in the MCU are Valkyrie, Spider-Man, War Machine, Doctor Strange, and Winter Soldier, all of which could be part of the team in the next iteration. However, there have also been rumors that films based on the new Avengers, Young Avengers, and the evil version of the team, Dark Avengers, are in development, with Marvel also having the possibility to go with the West Coast Avengers or even the satirical Great Lake Avengers, adding more and more new faces to the MCU, which is always a good thing, right? Any of these teams, members of the old one, combined with a new or a completely new team stepping in would refresh the Avengers legacy. No matter what the case may be, a positive step is guaranteed in the continued path towards representation. While we're at the characters in the next Avengers movie, we should also mention that seeing how things stand right now and the rumors of what every movie will bring to the table, we know that Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania is set to introduce Kang the Conqueror into the MCU, who many think that is gonna be the big baddie just like Thanos was. On a related note, tell us down in the comments below what are your thoughts on the next Avengers movie and in what shape would you like for things to be said and also don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.